everybody, Jerome Wright here, and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Okay, um, in this video, sounds like I'm losing my voice here for a minute. <clears throat> huh, let me get that right. Um, anyway, here in this video, I have the American dime up here, the coin, the dime coin. Okay, this is a mirrored image, meaning an overlayment from one direction of the coin to the next. In this case, what it did is it took the, the dime present, I don't even know who the, the present is on the dime, but that figure, and took and put um, the heads back to back, okay, like they're conjuring twins. In doing this, that mirrored image turned on a slant creates the Pisces vesica, the egg, or the eye, um, Whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, or the vesicas, Pisces, whatever you want to call it, it creates that. The Pisces vesica. What is that? That is the bladder of the fish. To all of you that do not know, I've discovered early on in my discoveries, um, through my genuine paranormal experience and encounter, that it is a, it is a fact that we evolved through the body of the fish. So for the fish symbolization to be held in high regard in that of religion does not, you know what I mean, does not surprise me because we did in fact evolve through the body of the fish along with a host of other creatures and I've actually discovered with, um, what those beings are as well. Um, these coins have a symbolic underlining called meaning to them. Thanks to my mirroring guy, Mike, um, who also was an aspiring artist, um, he joined up with me and together he sends me these images and I'm able to go be drawn into them dimensionally and um, I'm able to extract the true meaning and underlining messages that are held there in these, um, in these, um, in these dimensional mirrored images and I can bring from that abstract through my paranormal experience and encounter I can show you exactly what is being stated here. All right, I only have 15 minutes, so I'm done. Used about three minutes of that already. Um, I'm ranting on, but if you notice that the jawline of this president here, it comes around and creates an arm right here at the um, at the chin. There's an arm. There's the elbow here, right there at the jaw bone, and then comes over, and you notice that the coloring changes colors, and then it creates hands. What these hands are are those elongated hands. As you can see, they are here. They're the curled over hands of a monkey. You see that? This is the monkey's wrist, as we would know it. This will be the the the, um, the shadowed area creates the hairy monkey's arm, and then the elongated hand of the monkey right there. I can even see the thumb bent over right there. Now, there's the other monkey's hand. It's by them coming together. Now. Before I go on, I want to I want to show you. And then if you look in here, you'll see the faces directly in the center here. You see this face here of like that of a cow. Directly in the center of that creature in the nose, there is a, fig a face of an ape. I'm gonna see if I can come in closer so you can see that. There is a face of an ape. Uh, I gotta hurry here. I gotta hurry. Where's um? Okay, down here. I'm going to come in as close as I can. I am actually in close already, so let me just slide the, the computer in. Here, you see there's an eye, there's an eye, there's an ear, there's an ear. There's a head here of a mutation. In the center of that, there is a monkey. Eye, eye, nose, nose. Um, mouth here. There's a monkey's face right there. Showing you a dimensional sequence of genes of mutations that calls for the subsequent likeness that is appearing here on the coin and they're describing how this person genetically came to be so this is why I'm telling you that the American dime has a higher significant value than what you are you have to look at my other videos because I did this with currency money a paper money as well too let's go back to the monkey hands the arms okay this monkey is reaching down now look at this as an ape Okay, there's also a cat in here, two people, but I'm going to show you that in the next image. Look at this ape bridged over with this creature here in the back. Showing you this monkey is pulling open. Now, this is the Pisces vesica. 
Now the monkey is pulling over another Pisces vesica here, which is actually the vagina of these cross mutations here. Now watch as I click over to the next image, how that vagina comes to life. See the vagina being pulled over, pulled open by the fingers of that monkey. And you see here that this creature now takes in the impression of the cross between a kangaroo and a mandarin ape. You see the face there? Now, from its largest state to its smallest state, the larger image creates the face of a cat. Ears, ears, eyes, and you can see almost the whiskers coming out here. People, this is showing you a dimensional sequence of all of these creatures which genetically contributed to the likeness and calls for this being, this president, from that of his African ancestor. This is a vagina held open, showing you, spit out from that vagina, these created genes. And this is what is, is going on here. Now, this is the American dime. There's other creatures there that I can see. I'll go on. I actually have other images too, thanks to Mike that came in. And um, at first I did not even see this, but I was drawn to this because Mike m mirrored the moon for me. And through a revelation in my mind that I knew that I can see things anyway, dimensionally, and make a sequential order of them. Um, however, how many minutes do I got here? Okay, I'm in six minutes. However, I realized that every time Mike put these mirrored images in this Pis Pisces Ves um, Vesis I mean, uh, Vesica dimension, these are where these images came together in reality where I can show them to other people. You can actually see the face of a cat here too. You see the face of the cat morphing out? The larger face looks like a fat cat. And then look, as you go down smaller, you see other, you see the face um, I can see it backwards here. Notice how you see the faces of the cat, how the cat gene is taken over. In fact, I'm almost seeing like it creates the, the eyes. It goes larger to smaller people. So you're probably seeing more that, than I can see on this side because this is one dimension showing it to you through the mirroring. And then my screen from my laptop to my to my wide screen of my, um, my monitor, which is my television, the 47 inch, you can see a different dimension. So you're probably seeing more right now as I'm showing these images to you. But again, what I'm telling you is that dimensionally, what artist starts from is from the beginning of mankind, where we came. And this is this big secret behind the Pisces Vesica. And don't be surprised that this cat is appearing because if you look at my video that I have here of the um, of the monument, the obelisk in, um, in Washington, the same exact thing is appearing, the Pisces vesica, the cat, and the implication of presidency. Look at that video that I have, okay? So this is the big secret. Now I'm revealing not just the secret beyond the dime, the dimensional images beyond the dime, but the true meaning of the Pisces Vesica for that of artists, because they start with their encryption styles, their encodings, from that of what? The bladder of the fish, the vagina, the reproductive system of that of female, the female reproductive system. That's what this is all about. And here, you see the monkey's hands pulling that vagina open. I can actually come in closer so you can get. Now, in mirroring art, these artists that use are utilized. In fact, this actually even creates a vagina. If you look even closer, there's like a bat here. Ears, eyes, look, the mouth being held open. Look, see the top lip, look, ear. Look at the look at the head. It becomes something in, in, in completely different there. Look at this. You see this? I don't know what you can see. I don't know until this video is over. But people, these multi-dimensional images show you many different things. And here in the Mandarin ape here, in the Mandarin ape's nose mouth area now, there's a lion's mouth. 
There's the bottom lip of the line, there's the top lip, there's the lion's nose, there's the left eye of the line, there's the right eye of the line, and the lion's face is in that, and here's the left eye of the mandarin ape, there's the right eye of the mandarin ape, and there's the mandarin, the wrinkles in the mandarin nose that give that mandarin that reptile um, look. And in its nose is the lion. Dimensional images in the Pisces Vesica, the window of truth. This is the secret, the big secret behind that of art. You create those dimensional images by creating the Pisces Vesica. And this will allow you to dimensionally look into what is being described by those that engage in occult practice that knew, knew from the beginning the evolutionary passages of mankind and how mankind was genetically altered from his beginning state of ape and African throughout to being um, um, Egyptian, Asian, European, and Caucasian. This is what this is all about. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end this video here. And people, you are now witnessing something that is going to be coming with no more ending because I'm telling you right now that the sky is the limits with this. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end that video there. I was going to say something else, but I had to stop and stop myself. That's why that sentence went over the place. But I have to say so many things and then keep some things back of which you should understand. All right. So here you have it, people. The Pisces Vesica. The representation, according to the um, ancient Roman Italian, which is the bladder of the fish from which man evolved. It is shown us through a sequence of creatures, through a sequence of creatures, how mankind evolved to a point, to a historical points in time, where those that engaged in the practice of genetic altering and genetic sacrificing themselves signify in, in monuments, coins, in dollars, I mean, in, in everything, in currency, in statues, in artwork, on how they genetically contributed to the process and their higher knowledge of being aware of what was going on. So everything that is in our ancient history can be approached that in this way and by this direction. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end that there and I'm going to continue on with another video. Thank you. The American dime up here, the coin, the dime coin. Okay. This is a mirrored image, meaning an overlayment from one direction of the coin to the next. In this case, what it did is it took the, the dime present, I don't even know who the, the present is on the dime, but that figure, and took and put um, the heads back to back. Okay, like they're conjuring twins. In doing this, that mirrored image turned on a slant, creates the Pisces vesica, the egg, or the eye, um, Whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, or the vesicas, Pisces, whatever you want to call it, it creates that. The Pisces vesica. What is that? Buddy Jerome right here, and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Okay, I'm um, in this video. Sounds like I'm losing my voice here for a minute. <clears throat> huh. Let me get that right. Um, anyway, here in this video, I have the. That is the bladder of the fish. To all of you that do not know, I've discovered early on in my discoveries um, through my genuine paranormal experience and encounter that it is a, it is a fact that we evolved 